hello guys and welcome to another another delightful episode of your favorite program that just on bnb radio and as you know it's your girl blessing is you're welcome and this is the first edition of the podcast in the month of july so happy new month to you happy new month from bnb radio to you i hope that you've been doing so well you've been doing fine uh, we really thank God for bringing us um, successfully from the first phase of this um, year 2020. So the first six months of this year is gone and we are now in the second half of the year. So this is a very good time for us to do, especially for those of us who did some New Year resolution to actually do a, an evaluation of how this year has fared. Yes, it would be very, very good if you can do an evaluation of yourself of how it is if you have been achieving some of your plans. Okay, so this is um, it's a new month. I mean, and um, we actually want to do something um, fantastic for our listener, especially those of us who are born in the month of July. So this is a new month. Special birthday edition to those of us born in the month of um, July. So, um, I'll be making a birthday shout out to some persons. First of all, I want to start with Sophia Mbama. Um, she'll be celebrating her birthday on the 4th of this month. Also, Richard Felix and Godfrey Obetten um, will be celebrating on the 27th of this month. So, from all of us at BNB Radio, we are wishing you all a happy birthday in advance. Um, a very good life fulfillment happiness and everything good that you wish yourself so to all our listeners out there even though i didn't mention your name uh happy birthday to you um if you're celebrating and uh, belated happy birthday to those of us whose birthday has um, passed and happy birthday in advance to those of us who are yet to celebrate their birthday in this month of july yes so this um this is the gist and we promise to bring you interesting topic but before we go ahead before we continue the discussion the program i'd like us to go for a very short music break and when we return we'll delve in straight into today's topic stay tuned <laughs> Welcome back from that music break and um, it's so good to have you back. Yes, wherever you are listening to me, to my voice right now, are you in Africa, are you in Nigeria, are you in Australia, wherever you are listening to my voice right now, yes, I want to welcome you to the program, The Gist on BMB Radio Podcast. Okay, um, here in Nigeria, the federal government have actually um, eased the lockdown a bit again. Yes, it's gradually gradually easing off, um, remove the ban on interstate movement and there can be interstate travel and within the hours of 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. the curfew would return back. So this uh, means that we need to be extra careful whenever we are going out, okay? Please stay safe wherever you are. Okay, so um, going into today's topic, we'll be talking about something that is very crucial to you and I, to everyone. So if you have someone there around you, please, I'd like you to bring that person closer to listen to this podcast yes so today we'll be talking about child abuse yes child abuse is something that um it happens everywhere it's in our society it has been there and um it's it's it um it's cause for serious concern and um for action positive action to be taken and what is child abuse this is a situation whereby a child um is being maltreated is being um harmed both physically sexually um and in any other way verbally this is causing maltreatment to children and you know what child abuse can actually happen anywhere yes the one that um has been um on the social media lately is um this Ghanaian actress who um 
people took a snapshot of herself and her son she was naked in the picture um, she had a photo shoot with this boy and you know people some people were blasting and all that but at the end of the day she later came out to apologize yes you can not just abuse a child verbally and all that you can also abuse the child sexually you know we have pedophiles everywhere who are abusing children and these things are very bad you ridicule children verbally you abuse them you insult them and all that you know there are little children who are actually used as sex slaves these things are very wrong it is happening in our society right some children are being inflicted with injury serious injury i know of a case whereby a young boy was had iron marks on his body and cutlass and machete wounds all over his body from his stepmother actually because he was hungry and he cooked some pieces of yam with oil to eat when he came back from school these things are happening and you don't have to say that it's not your business okay we have parents abusing children we have caregivers teachers guardians um, siblings other people relatives and even people other people abusing children so we need to give attention to our children the one that baffled me the most was when i heard that um a child was thrown out of his house by um by the parents because they say that this child has witchcraft this child is a witch it's very annoying i don't know how would you give birth to your child and say that your child is a witch and you throw your child out to the street and then you see them roaming about a multitude of them roaming about the street aimlessly picking pockets and doing lots of things to survive they are exposed to a lot of danger do you know the what the um this abuse you met out on children do you know what it costs to them on the long run the society suffers from it because it tends to repeat the whole cycle of child abuse on other innocent children so we need to be guided we need to take action please you know i don't know but my my heart cries out to to children who are being abused and do you know that it's a criminal offense to have house helps or maids or even domestic um workers in nigeria who are less than 12 years and for me 12 years is like i don't know even above 12 years i don't um from below 18 years I, to me i think that it's 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 uncalled for you see children who are helps children taking care of children children who are nanny to other children i don't know how a child can who is your your house help can raise your own child a little child be cooking for your child is the nanny to your child is taking care of your child you take your child to school bring your back back your child back from school and all that no now we need to change the narrative it is wrong and wherever whenever you see these things happening we need to speak out you know what we need to go for a very short music break and when we return yes the gist continues <laughs> about child abuse yes so if you want to um, give some contribution about this topic you want to pour out your thoughts about this topic you can actually do that follow us on Twitter at black media brand follow us on Instagram as well at black media brands underscore official you can also like us on Facebook at black media brands um, also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Black Media Brands. You can as well listen to us via Anchor Software at BNB Radio. Yes. Also visit visit our website at www.bnb.com.ng. Yes. We've been talking about um, child abuse in our society. 
please let's be there for these children if you know that you cannot take care of a certain number of children please don't birth them don't bring them to this world don't bring them to suffer yes please we have to be there for these children physically mentally medically emotionally educationally every spiritually every angle I don't know how many parents or guardians can beat their chest and say that my child can tell me or can discuss anything to me. And when they come to you telling you that so and so they are sensing some um, some kind of things, please let's take them seriously. Yes, mind the kind of things you expose children to. The other day, um, I, I I heard of a particular story where a young boy was being um, a, a child actually was being exposed to taking her drugs by an adult and then another adult was actually cautioning this guy asking him telling him to stop doing that and he was like what is your business how is it not his business these things are wrong we need to speak out yes stop exposing these children to things that would harm them that would endanger them their lives also um in case of any um case of child abuse yes what you can do is you can actually um um, you can actually hook up with NGOs, yes, who are fighting for this cause. I know that there are NGOs out there who are fighting against child abuse. You can meet up with them, you can contact them, and then file claims in a court of law so that legal actions can be taken. And I also call on the judiciary to actually take this thing seriously. Please, let's bring perpetrators to book. Let's bring, let's bring punitive actions upon them, no matter who the perpetrator is yes you know what i can go on and on and on talking about this thing but it's not just about talking it's about walking the talk it's about taking action it's about stopping child abuse yes i also want to call on ngos please it seems like they they are far from us we can't easily reach them i want them to like make more and more sensitization let them be felt in our society let's know them let's see them Yes, so that whenever things like this happen, we can easily contact them. Yes, we can easily contact them, even in remote areas, in remote communities. These things are happening there, but I don't know, I don't know what's happening. So lots of these cases are being swept under the carpet and it's not supposed to be so. So um, time is really against me and um, I'll have to be running out of the studio right now. So please. Let's stop child abuse. Let's stop exposing our children to sexual um, abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, and all that. Okay? And let's take care of them because when we take care of our children now, when we take care of the children now, yes, on the long run, we'll see and reap the good benefits of it. Thank you. And um, for the records, uh, my name is Blessing Isija. So till I come your way next time, be good and do good. Bye for now.